Welcome back to air where we have to hit about four buttons to activate this door up ahead. Oh, okay, that's not a jump that we can make, I guess. So we'll have to go a long way around. At least until we are able to fly indoors or get a double jump or something. Or maybe I'm just horrible and I missed the jump. Oh. So I don't see another clear path. Whoa. Super bounce. Or maybe I can keep jumping around this. Yes, that is right. I heard a spirit. Oh well. Oh, here's another button. Oh, and we, I saw the other the third one at least. Oh, we got five total actually. Uh, I can make that jump. And then make it the rest of the way. Do we have a crouch? No. Do I have a climb? No, I don't. One's right in front of the door, so we just gotta figure out where that last one is. Down there. You're just peeking down there. So far, it's been pretty easy. Everything's out in the open. No baddies, no timing needed yet. We'll see if it stays that way or not, though. thing. Okay, the sun is activated. Okay. It's at least more vast, if not more complicated. And that probably resets me. Do I not have a stairway up? Okay, here. Oh, is this the same place from before? Part one, part two. Okay. So I went and activated one thing. Then I returned by lowering the bridge. So is this door new? Or is that the original? That's the initial one I came from. I was able to walk up there. Now that's activated. That's not open. So is there something that I can get access to that I'm not... So that's not jumpable. Hmm. As this here is that want me to jump low. There's nothing down there special. Does that lead? It's just part of that same area. Okay, so the bridge is down, but this got activated. That's all that really matters. So there must be a path to get to at least the right side. It may have been open all along and I just didn't see it. Feels like it should be this one. potential ways to go. I feel like that's where I came from. So this... This may have been closed before? I'm not sure. Feels... Like it's... Yes, this is definitely new. Okay, interesting. 
Okay, I'll take my, my lamp out then if it makes no difference. And this one. Alright. Our first real test, I'd say. And we keep going higher. It's just gonna open this door. It's our shortcut. Surely there's a button on the other side. statue? Are they missing the head? Or is that just a tiny head? Hmm. Ah, here's a moon door. Let's do some sort of stuff there. Can I read this? Oh wait, not part two. Skip, skip, skip. No spoilers just yet. Part one. When the world was still new and the creator had drawn the lands, the spirit animals gathered to talk. A fox said, there are new animals around. They walk on two feet. A crane said, a new bird? A fox shook his head and said, they have no wings. A monkey said, I have seen them too. They are without fur and they cannot climb well. An owl said, they fear the night and drive it away with fire. An otter said, they build nests on the land, but they are not one with it. A deer said, they are loud and do not know how to walk the woods. Bur bear said, they are like cubs who do not know the way home. The fox cocked its head and said, yes. That is why we have to help them. Is this going to be humans betraying nature? Help them, the other animals looked stunned. Yes, the fox said. Their minds see eternity. They are lost and afraid. They need something to hold on to, or they will harm themselves. The lands and us, the fox said. What do you propose? asked a hare. I propose a pact said the fox. If one of them can talk to us, we offer him the bond with the land. The fox continued, If he accepts, he can take the shape of one of us, the one he made the pact with. And he will be one with the land, and still see beyond the veil. And he can guide and guard his people, and so we all will be at peace, said the fox. The other animals saw the wisdom in this and agreed to it. And so some humans can become one with the world, and the chosen were called whisperers. So am I a whisperer, or are all humans whisperers? That's the question now. So we can keep going that way. And does this just... link back to places? Or have its own... So that one looks blocked off? Unless there's a crack somewhere, no? And this leads... This looks also blocked off. And we have some something to do over here. Is the bottom of it? This has a frog going on. Oh, the little mouse guy there. So can we just activate it, or is it more complicated? Oh, it's more complicated. Okay, this makes... 180 degree turns, so let's... Let's just take a guess. That's... That's good. And then this is gonna make smaller a smaller turn. Then we would gotta combine these turns to get it... Where we need to get it. This is kind of a... Okay, now we can actually go back to the 180 degree turn. And we should have completed the puzzle. 
never having used the fourth one actually. So just boom, 180. Bam. Okay, so it's better I went this way. It looks like I couldn't have done stuff in the next area without it. And do I have a shortcut to escape? Back there. No, I don't. How deep is that water? Oh. Got me distracted. It's this way. Yeah, there's that lovely beam of light powering this challenge. Let's see. See this? I can... I need to make that that. That one's easy enough. And then that one needs to be. Is that the sun or is the sun what's projected? It needs to be just a, a circle thing. Full moon, I'm guessing. Oh, wait, no. There we go. Just a full sun. guessing because that's where the button is with the get over there after having activated the switch again yeah no good mm. yeah doors don't work A sewer or ducting system. This is such a common theme. It seems as if this door has been stuck for a very long time. Wonder if there is even anything on the other side. Probably not if they can't open, because then they'd have to go and make that. why like a cracked open door is a big deal if they have all that stuff modeled behind it. It takes effort. Okay, this is, oh, I guess, oh, done with this section because I've lowered the bridge. So now we do the main section up ahead. Yeah, even gave me a bridge. So is this some kind of a boss fight? Not that I even have an attack. But it looks like hands that are gonna like try to slap me. Yep. Come here, little bird. A very long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian, sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring safe travel on the paths to the lands of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priest Kara led her people to the safe shores here in my temple. A long time ago, I... A long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, but for the power I was lent tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again, the void has awakened. The void has awakened with great hunger, this time to devour all that is left of our world. But there is still a, a chance to stop him. The priest Kara hid three fragments of greater power, one in each temple. 
You have to make three fragments one again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost to the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. So there is fragment number one. Would you like to tell me where I can find the next fragment? Unibrow monster. What's this? Teleporter or something? Yes. So now it's actually kind of left me a little bit on my own. I know that I need to find three temples. Yes, was, was this always ruined like this? I feel like I might have destroyed it in the process. Alright. And do I have anything going on here. Not really, but this is kind of a, a corner of the map. So unless there's stuff to potentially unlock on the small islands, then I'm just kind of passing by. Not supposed to go there, I guess. Probably flew off the edge of the map. Okay, so there's that temple. Not that it's needed anymore. Let's try to shoot the gap. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, so this this general direction looks good. Let's see if I can get any boost I haven't seen oh ah discovered King's Pass that looks like something well, I think these are just respawn points there we go that's a tough one see any glowy lights. This looks like it might be the most important island. Let's see if... Ah, something to read. Once, when the gods were still awake, some animals gathered to talk. A hare said the grass is not as green as it was. A bear said the honey does not flow as it used to. Wolf said there are less deer to hunt, and the deer said, well, I do my best. An eagle said the lands have become smaller. A crane said the humans write less and argue more. An owl said there is a darkness deeper than the night, and it grows. At this, the other animals fell silent, and the wind howled around them. Okay, so it used to be all... Oh, Happy-go-lucky for a bit. And then things started to turn. There's no guarantee that there's a temple here, though. Or that even that I would have to activate it in the same method. Okay, this I need to turn hard. Not that hard. Ah, 
Howling Peaks. Oh, here's something. This is a temple? It may be. It's certainly something. Alright, here we go. Beartooth Cave. Pull up my lantern. I suppose we'll read that thing. Notes on the Legend of the Western Clans by Rhett, the scholar of the Summer Islands. Everything in the Land of Gods is sacred. Especially there is a shrine called the Lighthouse, which is rumored to be a place of power. Some ancient texts refer to it as the House of the First Light, the Cradle of the World, where the ancient gods first woke up and walked the lands. Now it just looms as a small black tower made from alien obsidian, lonely and abandoned, a relic in the eyes of our civilization. It was the mistake that we don't care for what was left to us by our ancestors. Well, that was actually a question I should have inflected, but I didn't. All right, where are we headed? Could just be out the other side, but I suspect there's more to this. Was that where I just was? I think so. Just didn't bother looking up. Oh, you're not a statue. My lady, welcome. It's an honor to receive you here, but you may not know me, but I know who you are. Come listen to my story. Ah, I still remember the time when Kara was still a cub. It was her first visit to the land of gods. Her clan was traveling through. I myself was still young, just over a hundred years, and as chance would have it, they stopped for a rest near my home at the time. I was walking by and she went up to me. She was still without words, but she hugged me and her heart talked to me. Years later she came back. She remembered me, one of her first memories, she said. I offered her a pact, but she had already entered one with the bird of the Thunder Isles. We became good friends, however, and I was the first to meet her after the Great Divide. The creator had split himself to lock away a void growing in his heart. The world crumbled. He had given Kara the task of keeping the pieces of his being safe. Three fragments of great power, the void locked in its prison, and one last piece, his hopes, his dreams, and his love for the world and its beauty. Kara came to me much later again, when the world was calm once more, to present the last piece to me. The cub was as small as Kara was when she met the first time, and her name was Mina. Interesting. So you're... As time flows so fast, my lady, I thank you for coming here. It was a great pleasure to relive the past for a short while. But the world is growing wearily and is missing something it once had. I hope for a great ending of this tale, and it seems it's not entirely over just yet. Okay, so now... Just confirm this. Notes on Legends of the Western Clans by Rhett. Scholar of the Summer Isles. Everything in the land... It's sacred, yep. Yeah. Lighthouse. Yeah, so there's no door in the back there. So I'm I'm probably ahead of myself being in this area. I need to find that other temple that was referenced. So one was northwest and one was north was kind of my hints in the beginning. And I'm northeast, so I'm a bit too far out. So we will begin our journey south. Yeah, I'm at the top of the map. And it's probably out over here somewhere. So we'll be heading over there in the next episode. So catch you all then.